This girl I've been seeing for four months was going great, staying at her place once a week or so, give her plenty of space and distance when I'm not going on dates with her. She randomly texted me a few days ago saying she doesn't think we should continue and that she can drop off my belongings I have left at her place. I met up with her a couple hours later and stayed stoic and calm and gave her a hug and wished her the best. But this all came out of nowhere after what seemed to be a flourishing relationship. Do you think she will try and come back? Or what's your take on this? She went from telling me, I feel like you're too good for me about two months ago to up and leaving me out of nowhere. Well, okay. So I will say this, because as men, we want to do this. We our, our brains do not like endings that have no resolution or, or no reasoning, right? And so part of the dating game, unfortunately, is getting used to the idea that there are going to be times where you're dating somebody and out of nowhere, they're just going to be like, I'm not feeling it anymore. And you're going to sit there like, what did I do? What could I have done better? And hey, it's always good to do the exercise. It's always good to look at, okay, objectively, were there times where I was too needy? Maybe I said a thing. Maybe I acted a certain way I wasn't aware of. But also sometimes relationships just die off, you know? Not every person we date is meant to go the long haul, you know? I, I remember my, my first girlfriend when I was 15, we dated for like all of two weeks because she, she was out of town and she was visiting uh, my brother, one of my brother's classmates. She stayed in town with him for the summer because, you know, parents were divorced and so whatever. And so... We, we dated that summer. It was absolutely great. She came, she came back the next summer and we were no longer boyfriend or girlfriend. We're just hanging out. And at the time I thought it sucked. Like, oh, we, we did such a, last summer we were, like, I, I was thinking it was our first girlfriend and this could be a long-term thing. This is that wasn't meant to be, you know? And since that time I've dated women who I thought was going to last for a long time. And it just, it, it did for whatever reasons, whether it was stuff I did, because hey, I'm very much up to owning my, my, my stuff. There are times in relationships where I wasn't the best person I could have been. There have been times where I've dated women where either they weren't the best person, or there were times where it started off with a spark and a flame. And then as we kept on dating, I realized I didn't want to be with them, or they realized I didn't want to, they, they didn't want to be with me. And you know what? That is all part of the process. That's why dating is like ultimately, everybody has the right to be with the person they want to be with. And so, sometimes you're very hopeful because it hurts. Like, uh, the thing I don't like about relationships is that we always try to villainize the other person if they decide to leave. You know, like, for example, this guy is telling me his story. So now I'm supposed to look at the girl as she's a horrible person. She left him and she left him hurt. But just because he's hurt doesn't mean she did a bad thing. I would honestly say the fact that she knew, hey, I don't want to be in this anymore and didn't lead him on is actually better than for them to get married and be like, you know, 10 years down the line, I actually never loved you, which those stories happen all the time. Like they get the divorce card. I never really loved him in the first place. Like, Shaq just went through that. Like Shaq's wife, ex-wife had a book come out. I don't think I actually really ever loved him. I just loved the lifestyle and this, this, and that. And he was like, I mean, I was cheating on her, so I kind of get it. But suffice to say, guy, that yes, definitely examine what things you were doing, but also don't beat yourself up about this. Sometimes it really just is that the person just stops liking you. And that's perfectly fine for either person to do. I would say... Um, in terms of what she try to come back, I don't, I don't have an answer to that. Like I'd say the best thing you could do is to give her her space. I have found that ultimately at the end of the day, giving a person space makes them feel as though you're not again, trying to force them to be in a relationship. It's like, you're respecting their decision. It's making them feel as though, okay, whether I come or go, he's not going to try to like make me feel some kind of way or feel bad about it or be like, you just didn't love, you didn't love me. This now. Like the way you reacted being stoic was actually very, very good. You were calm. You gave her a hug. You wish her the best. This girl may come back for you in like two or three months. You never know. Now that said, I do have a book on my website called uh, 10 Steps to Winning Back Your Ex. And that is a book that, that that's based on things that I've actually done when I've been in this situation. I have found, for example, that, I, and the, in fact, the, the first thing I say in the book is that when a breakup's happening, the first thing you need to do is not freak out and just be like, hey, you know what? Are you sure you're, you're trying to leave? Okay, well, you know, best of luck to you. You know, I wish nothing for the best. And I always end with, I say, hey, you know, if you, if you happen to change your mind in the future and I'm still available, then we can definitely talk about that if you want to reconnect. Other than that, best luck to you. And I leave it alone. I have done that before and found like sometimes it's a week, it's a month, it might be several months, but I found that doing it that way, women, that gives women time to think about you and to reminisce in their head about all the good times. And then they start thinking about were the bad times so bad or am I tripping or whatever? And then they'll come back. Now, I'm not saying that's going to happen in this situation. I'm just saying that, that the way you went about it is the best way, the best chance you have at that potentially happening. But if that does happen, you need to know what conversations need to be had in order to make that go through and to guarantee she's not going to leave you again, which is why I wrote a book about that. So you can get that book at the website if you want more information about how this can work. All right. But hopefully, guy, that helps you out. <laughs>
You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class.